Hello guys, welcome to a new video and today I'll be showing you some uh, FPS optimize for your uh, Rust gameplay so I will be showing you uh, all of the high-end PC, mid and low so what settings you should use for each computer you have so yeah, let's go first of all, I will show you my settings so I have uh, uh, this also could depend on what FPS you could you could have, but uh, uh, I just use 90. But yeah, max Gibbs is when you like if you if you break something. Uh, let me show you. Okay, one second. If you put a TC right there, as you can see, that is the max uh, Gibbs. So uh, if you don't want that, just turn this off, and yeah, as you can see. Um, but uh, then we have a user interface. I use zero uh, dot seven, and yeah, some stuff. Um, yeah, and then we go to the audio. This is the best. Uh, or not best, but for me is the best. What volume and what I need. Uh, yeah, as you can see. Then we got go have controls, and yeah, pretty normal. Only thing that is the only thing is that I use um, our loot on my mouse, and uh, slot five and slot uh, slot six and slot five and X and uh, Z. Now. Uh, say, yeah, and then we got screen, and uh, yeah, if you want stretched, you could uh, have 1280 by uh, 1024, but I don't like stretch, so I have it like 1920 by 1080. We got full screen, I just always use that. V sync, I turn off and put FPS limit on zero, so it al will always. Yeah, it will, it will not cap your FPS. So yeah, then we go have the graphics. So keep in mind, this settings is for a high-end PC. So uh, as you can see, it's pretty. It looks good as well with FPS. So um, it, it, you don't need higher than this. So yeah, and then now if you are on a mid PC, I would put this graphics quality on 2 Windows SQL 1 and uh, turn off max shadow lights and maybe turn down the draw distance to like 2000 or something and then uh, uh, and shadow level and uh, on like 100 like this and if you don't have any video reflex mode like on plus boost just have it off but if you have this option, just turn it off. I turn it on. And then on uh, particle quality, turn that to 10. And uh, object 50, something like that. And uh, yeah, this here, turn off. And uh, yeah. Also, keep in mind, uh, image effects are, is off on everything. Uh, same with experimental. So yeah, and if you are on a um, low end PC, turn this down to one. When the scale, I would put it at uh, zero dot eight. Uh, shadow quality zero, and put this to no cascade, and turn this down to like one uh, k. Shadow distance, I will put like five hundred or something. And then yeah, same with uh, this. If you have uh, this option, have this on. If not, off. And uh, particle quality, just have it five, and this to twenty six, and and yeah, somewhere like this. Doesn't need to be exactly, but um, somewhere around this uh, number would matter. Just have it off on everything. And yeah, and now for the FPS help, 
um, boost uh, in console type in uh, GC that buffer uh, for uh, 96 I will not uh, enter this because it will miss uh, it will lower my um, graphics and I don't need it but if you are on a low or mid PC um, and put this in in your console after that we got uh, GC that incremental milliseconds to one and uh, yeah same here I will not turn uh, presenter but um, yeah then we got graphic that VM uh, for scale false same here put this put that in then we got client head lerp in nurture false this will also help with your fps and uh, then we got um, phys uh, physics that step 60 and yeah and keep in mind i will put every uh, command in the, the description so it will just be easy for you to enter in enter it into console and yeah and uh, that is pretty much everything and uh, if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe and yeah see you in the next one goodbye